ushered in the new covenant. John the Baptist and Jesus, they preached new covenant principles. And he said, we have to seize these things. We have to press into these things. That sounds like works. Yes. You know, we're not delivered by works. But, but if we have, by faith, we, we do works. James says, faith without works is dead, being alone. If you, if you say you have faith without your works, I'll show you my faith by my works. The Bible says Abraham had faith, and by faith he obeyed God. Yes. We obey God by faith. We do what God says. Amen. You know, Noah, he believed God. He obeyed God. God said, create this ark, make this ark, and make it just like this. If you make it just like this, you'll be saved in your whole household. Right. We're here because he obeyed God because yes. of his faith. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith obeys God. Thank you, Lord. To redeem them that were under the law that we might receive. Say we might receive. That means we might take. The, ad the adoption of sons. Now, I, Jesus paid the price so I could be a son of God. He was the firstborn among many brethren. We are the many brethren. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus was the firstborn among many brethren. In him we have life. Thank you, In him we have everything we need for this life and yes. for godliness. Thank you, Lord. To live a godly life Hallelujah. in Christ. In 2 Peter chapter 1, says, it says, Through his great and precious promises we have been given everything that we need. For life and godliness. And some translations say to live a godly life. And that's what it means. It does mean to live a godly life. That we might be partakers of the divine nature. Having escaped the corruption that's in the world through lust. Glory. That we, Christ might be formed in us, folks. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. That you might receive the adoption of sons. And because you are sons, God hath sent forth the spirit of his son into your heart's crying, Abba, Father. So God sent the Spirit of His Son, Jesus, into our hearts. Jesus' Spirit got joined up to our spirit and made us alive. We're born of the Spirit of Christ. Thank you, Lord. We are born again of the Spirit of Christ. Our, we're made spiritually alive. We have eternal life in Christ Jesus. Jesus is eternal life. And as long as we stay in Jesus, we have eternal life. And, and he says if we stay in him, he'll stay in us. Thank you. Lord. It's joined together. We're in union glory, with Christ. Glory, glory, glory. We're in union with Christ. We're in union with Christ. Praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Wherefore thou art no more a servant, but a son, and if a son, then heir of God through Christ. Hallelujah. The word through is the Greek word dia. It's like a channel of that. We it's only through Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but through me. But through me. It's only through Jesus that we come to God the Father. We're made alive in Jesus Christ. Positionally in Jesus Christ. How do we enter into him? Through faith. John 3, 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth or exercises faith, entering into, in, entering into ice, entering into Jesus Christ hath eternal life. Yeah. We have to stay in Jesus. If you want to walk in eternal life, you have to stay in Jesus. First says in 1 John, how do we know if we abide in him? If we stay in him? Amen. He said, if you keep his commandments. That's, right. That's how we know. If we stay in the Lord, we keep his commandments. And I, I think one of the apostles said is the commandments are not grievous. They're not too hard to keep. Because Jesus gives us the ability to do what he commands us to do. That's right. He gives us the ability to walk in love and forgive people. Amen. Hallelujah. Be kind one to another even as God even as Christ God for Christ's sake has forgiven and forgive other people. Even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven us. You see God forgave us for Christ's sake when we came to God. Thank you. We cried out to God. Thank when we you. repented to God. And then God sent the Spirit of His Son into our hearts, crying, "All the Father." Whoa, what a miracle! Need, Amen. It, it's amazing. Thank you, Lord. It's amazing. It's the truth of the Word of God. Glory to God. It's the truth of the Word of God. Yes. It's the truth of the Word of God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you Father. Thank you, Lord. Now turn with me to uh, Colossians chapter. 1 verse 26. Thank you, Father. Thank 
Thank you, Lord. Read verse 25. Wherefore, I'm made a minister according to the dispensation of God, which is given to me for you to fulfill the word of God. Say the word of God. The word of God. Even the mystery which has been hid from generations and from ages and generations, but is now made manifest unto his saints, to whom God would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is, this is the mystery, which is Christ in you. Say Christ in me. Christ in now this word in denotes a location. In other words, Christ is located in us, and it's because of that we have hope of glory. The hope of glory. Hope is a word that describes a promise for the future. And we have to actually, hope is a faith word. It's a faith for the future. In other words, there are promises for the future that we believe by faith. That's hope. Yes. That's the hope. The Bible says the return of Christ is the blessed hope. Amen. We call it the blessed hope because Jesus is coming back soon. Amen. But it's still a future thing. But he's coming. And we know, we know, we know that he's coming. That's hope. In a future thing. Now God's made a certain promises that he's already completed. In those things we exercise faith. Yes. And we receive by faith and walk by faith in those things. Praise your Father. I'm not even going to get to my main part of my message today. <laughs> yes. But, but there's other days. Okay. Yes, sir. There's Wednesday night, right? Good stuff be here Wednesday want. night. Jesus uh, comes first. Well, if he does, we'll all be glory. Hallelujah. We'll be glory. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Even the mystery which he has hid from ages and now is made from generations, but now is made manifest to his saints. Which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Whom we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom that we may present every man perfect. Say perfect. Perfect. In Christ Jesus. I can be perfect if I'll stay in Christ Jesus. That's right. I can live perfect if I stay in Christ Jesus. Yes. Nobody's perfect. Christ is. Yes. And Christ is in us. Believe if we'll st yes. stay walking in Christ yes. and follow his direction, yes. he'll lead us into his perfection until Christ be formed in us. Amen. Till we Thank become you, like Christ. Yes. We call ourselves Christians. That means Christ like. That means like Christ. You ever think about that? When I say I'm a Christian, I'm saying I'm like Christ. Come on. I hear people say, well, nobody's Jesus. No, but Christ is in us. Yeah. That's right. That's Romans right. chapter 8, it says, if Christ be not, if the Spirit of Christ be not in you, you're not one of His. That's right. Those that are joined unto the Lord are one Spirit. Amen. We're seated in heavenly places right now in Christ Jesus. Yep. Right now, wherever the Spirit of Christ is, we're there with Him. Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father. So we are seated at the right hand of the Father in Christ. After Jesus rose from the dead, the first thing he did was went to his apostles, his followers. The Bible says he breathed on them. When he breathed on them, his spirit was joined to their spirit, and they were born again by the spirit of Christ right Thank then. Thank you, Lord. Yes. yes. Right then. And then he commanded them, now receive the Holy Ghost. Thank you. And on the day of Pentecost, they received the Holy Ghost. Yes. And they're all in the upper room 40 days after Christ, after his resurrection, 40 days. They were in the upper room praying all, and they all were on one accord. He told them to wait in Jerusalem until they'd be endued with power from on high. I guess my battery's quit. He told them to wait in the upper room until he'd be endued with power from on high, waiting in Jerusalem. So they were all in the upper room, and all in one accord. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues as a fire, and a mighty rushing wind yes. that filled the whole house. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. There was about 120 there that day. They were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak in tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Right. And there, there, there was, it was like the, the festival of Pentecost was going, and there were thousands of people. Wherever they were, there were thousands of people around. And they thought they were drunk. They thought they were crazy. Like so Tom says, if you're talking in tongues, people think you're crazy, right? Yep. This guy must be nuts. He must be drunk. 
The Bible says, be not drunk with wine, but be filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. People think you're nuts, but that's okay. That's right. People think you're crazy, but that's all right. Okay. <laughs> I'll gladly be crazy for God. I'll gladly be nuts for God. I'll glad, gladly make myself a fool for Christ. I don't care. Amen. As long as God's happy with me. Amen. Man, I don't mind if people aren't happy with me as long as God's happy with me. Right. That's, I'm going to stand before God in judgment. Where it's appointed once unto man to die, and then the judgment. One day we're going to stand before God in judgment. We're not going to have to answer to whether we did were we pleased men. It doesn't matter whether I please men. It matters whether I please God. Yes. So I need to follow God and please Him. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Yes. He's worthy of our praise. Praise you, Father. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank you, Lord. Lord. He's mighty. Glory. He's Hallelujah. mighty. Hallelujah. He's mighty. Yes. yes. Thank, Thank you, Father. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Glory Thank you, Lord. Christ in us, the hope of the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Father. Thank Father you, God, we just thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this service, Father. We pray that you just open our eyes, Father. Help us to get this full revelation, Father. Help us to walk, help us to walk in your ways, Father. And to follow you and to, to follow your direction. Thank I give you, you all the praise and all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. You're yes. worthy, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You're mighty God. 